Mark chapters 1 to 16. Chapter 1, Forerunner of Christ. 1. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, 2. As it is written in the prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who shall prepare your way before you. 3. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare you the way of the Lord, make his path straight. 4. John did baptize in the wilderness, and preach the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. 5. And there went out unto him all the land of Judea, and they of Jerusalem, and were all baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. 6. And John was clothed with camel's hair, and with a belt of a skin about his waist, and he did eat locusts and wild honey. 7. And preached, saying, There comes one mightier than I after me, the thong of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and unloose. 8. I indeed have baptized you with water but he shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Baptism of Christ. 9 And it came to pass in those days, that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee, and was baptized by John in the Jordan. 10 And immediately coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens opened, and the Spirit like a dove descending upon him. 11 And there came a voice from heaven, saying, You are my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Temptation of Christ. 12 And immediately the Spirit drove him into the wilderness. 13 And he was there in the wilderness forty days, tempted of Satan, and was with the wild beasts, and the angels ministered unto him. Work of Christ 14 Now after John was put in prison, Jesus came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God, 15 And saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand, repent, and believe the gospel first disciples are called. 16 Now as he walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew his brother casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. 17 And Jesus said unto them, Come after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. 18 And immediately they left their nets, and followed him. 19 And when he had gone a little farther from there, he saw James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, who also were in the ship mending their nets. 20 And immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the ship with the hired servants, and went after him. Unclean spirits are cast out. 21 And they went into Capernaum, and immediately on the Sabbath day he entered into the synagogue, and taught. 22 And they were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one that had authority, and not as the scribes. 23 And there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, 24 Saying, Let us alone, what have we to do with you, Jesus of Nazareth? Are you come to destroy us? I know you, who you are, the Holy One of God. 25 And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold your peace, and come out of him. 26 And when the unclean spirit had convulsed him, and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. 27 And they were all amazed, so that they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with authority he commands even the unclean spirits, and they do obey him. 28 And immediately his fame spread abroad throughout all the region round about Galilee. Mother of Peter's wife is healed. 29 And immediately, when they were come out of the synagogue, they entered into the house of Simon and Andrew, with James and John. 30 But Simon's wife's mother lay sick of a fever, and immediately they told him of her. 31 And he came and took her by the hand, and lifted her up, and immediately the fever left her, and she ministered unto them. Healing the multitudes. 32 And at evening, when the sun had set, they brought unto him all that were diseased, and them that were possessed with demons. 33 And all the city was gathered together at the door. 34 And he healed many that were sick of various diseases, and cast out many demons, and allowed not the demons to speak, because they knew him. 35 And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out, and departed into a lonely place, and there prayed. 36 And Simon and they that were with him followed after him. 37 And when they had found him, they said unto him, All men seek you. 
38 And he said unto them, Let us go into the next towns, that I may preach there also, for therefore came I forth. 39 And he preached in their synagogues throughout all Galilee, and cast out demons. A leper is cleansed. 40 And there came a leper to him, beseeching him, and kneeling down to him, and saying unto him, If you will, you can make me clean. 41 And Jesus, moved with compassion, put forth his hand, and touched him, and said unto him, I will, be clean. 42 And as soon as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy departed from him, and he was cleansed. 43 And he sternly charged him, and immediately sent him away. 44 And said unto him, See that you say nothing to any man, but go your way, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing those things which Moses commanded, for a testimony unto them. 45 But he went out, and began to proclaim it much, and to spread abroad the matter, so that Jesus could no more openly enter into the city, but was outside in desert places, and they came to him from every quarter. Chapter 2 The Sick of Palsy is Healed one and again he entered into Capernaum after some days, and it was told that he was in the house. Two and immediately many were gathered together, so much that there was no room to receive them, no, not so much as about the door, and he preached the word unto them. Three and they came unto him, bringing one, a paralytic, who was born of four. Four and when they could not come near unto him for the crowd, they uncovered the roof where he was, and when they had broken it up, they let down the bed on which the paralytic lay. 5. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the paralytic, Son, your sins be forgiven you. 6. But there were certain of the scribes sitting there, and reasoning in their hearts, 7. Why does this man thus speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God only? 8. And immediately when Jesus perceived in his spirit that they so reasoned among themselves, he said unto them, Why reason you these things in your hearts? 9. Which is it easier to say to the paralytic, Your sins be forgiven you, or to say, Arise, and take up your bed, and walk? 10. But that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, 11. I say unto you, Arise, and take up your bed, and go your way into your house. 12. And immediately he arose, took up the bed, and went forth before them all, so that they were all amazed, and glorified God, saying, We never saw it in this fashion. The Call of Matthew. 13 And he went forth again by the seaside, and all the multitude came unto him, and he taught them. 14 And as he passed by, he saw Levi the son of Alphaeus sitting at the tax office, and said unto him, Follow me. And he arose and followed him. 15 And it came to pass, that, as Jesus sat to eat in his house, many tax collectors and sinners sat also together with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many, and they followed him. 16 And when the scribes and Pharisees saw him eat with tax collectors and sinners, they said unto his disciples, How is it that he eats and drinks with tax collectors and sinners? 17 When Jesus heard it, he said unto them, They that are whole have no need of the physician, but they that are sick, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Parable of the Cloth and Old Bottles 18 And the disciples of John and of the Pharisees used to fast, and they came and said unto him, Why do the disciples of John and of the Pharisees fast, but your disciples fast not? 19 And Jesus said unto them, Can the friends of the bridegroom fast, while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. 20 But the days will come, when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them, and then shall they fast in those days. 21 No man also sews a piece of new cloth on an old garment, else the new piece that filled it up tears away from the old, and the tear is made worse. 22 And no man puts new wine into old wineskins, else the new wine does burst the wineskins, and the wine is spilled, and the wineskins will be ruined, but new wine must be put into new wineskins. Controversy over Sabbath, labor. 23 And it came to pass, that he went through the grain fields on the Sabbath day, and his disciples began, as they went, to pluck the ears of grain. 24 And the Pharisees said unto him, Behold, why do they on the Sabbath day that which is not lawful? 
25 And he said unto them, Have you never read what David did, when he had need, and was hungry, he, and they that were with him? 26 How he went into the house of God in the days of Abiathar the high priest, and did eat the showbread, which is not lawful to eat except for the priests, and gave also to them who were with him. 27 And he said unto them, The Sabbath was made for man, and not man for the Sabbath. 28 Therefore the Son of Man is Lord also of the Sabbath. Chapter 3 Controversy over Sabbath, Healing 1 And he entered again into the synagogue, and there was a man there who had a withered hand. 2 And they watched him, whether he would heal him on the Sabbath day, that they might accuse him. 3 And he said unto the man who had the withered hand, Stand forth. 4 And he said unto them, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath days, or to do evil? To save life, or to kill? But they held their peace. 5 And when he had looked around at them with anger, being grieved for the hardness of their hearts, he said unto the man, Stretch forth your hand. And he stretched it out, and his hand was restored whole as the other. The Pharisees seek to destroy Jesus. 6 And the Pharisees went forth, and immediately took counsel with the Herodians against him, how they might destroy him. 7 But Jesus withdrew himself with his disciples to the sea, and a great multitude from Galilee followed him, and from Judea, eight and from Jerusalem, and from Idumea, and from beyond Jordan, and they about Tyre and Sidon, a great multitude, when they had heard what great things he did, came unto him. 9 And he spoke to his disciples, that a small ship should wait on him because of the multitude, lest they should throng him. 10 For he had healed many, so much that they pressed upon him to touch him, as many as had diseases. 11 And unclean spirits, when they saw him, fell down before him, and cried, saying, You are the Son of God. 12 And he sternly charged them that they should not make him known. Ordaining of the Twelve 13 And he went up into a mountain, and called unto him whom he would, and they came unto him. 14 And he ordained twelve, that they should be with him, and that he might send them forth to preach, 15 And to have power to heal sicknesses, and to cast out demons, 16 And Simon he surnamed Peter, 17 And James the son of Zebedee, and John the brother of James, and he surnamed them Bonerges, which is, the sons of thunder, 18 And Andrew, and Philip, and Bartholomew, and Matthew, and Thomas, and James the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, and Simon the Canaanite, 19 And Judas Iscariot, who also betrayed him. And they went into a house. Opposition of his friends. 20 And the multitude came together again, so that they could not so much as eat bread. 21 And when his friends heard of it, they went out to lay hold on him for they said, he is beside himself. Scribes commit the unpardonable sin. 22 And the scribes who came down from Jerusalem said, he has Beelzebub, and by the prince of the demons casts he out demons. 23 And he called them unto him, and said unto them in parables, how can Satan cast out Satan? 24 And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. 25 And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. 26 And if Satan rise up against himself, and be divided, he cannot stand, but comes to an end. 27 No man can enter into a strong man's house, and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. 28 Verily I say unto you, all sins shall be forgiven unto the sons of men, and blasphemies whatever they shall blaspheme. 29 But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Spirit has never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal judgment. 30 Because they said, he has an unclean spirit. Brethren of Jesus. 31 There came then his brothers and his mother, and, standing outside, sent unto him, calling him. 32 And the multitude sat about him, and they said unto him, Behold, your mother and your brothers outside seek for you. 33 And he answered them, saying, Who is my mother, or my brothers? 34 And he looked round about on them who sat about him, and said, Behold my mother and my brothers. 35 For whosoever shall do the will of God, the same is my brother, and my sister, and mother. 
Chapter 4, Parable of the Soils 1 And he began again to teach by the seaside, and there was gathered unto him a great multitude, so that he entered into a ship, and sat in the sea, and the whole multitude was by the sea on the land. 2 And he taught them many things by parables, and said unto them in his teaching, 3 Listen, behold, there went out a sower to sow, for and it came to pass, as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up. 5 And some fell on stony ground, where it had not much earth, and immediately it sprang up, because it had no depth of earth. 6 But when the sun was up, it was scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away. 7 And some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up, and choked it, and it yielded no fruit. 8 And others fell on good ground, and did yield fruit that sprang up and increased, and brought forth, some thirty, and some sixty, and some a hundred. 9 And he said unto them, He that has ears to hear, let him hear. 10 And when he was alone, they that were about him with the twelve asked of him the parable. 11 And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God, but unto them that are outside, all these things are done in parables. 12 That seeing they may see, and not perceive, and hearing they may hear, and not understand, lest at any time they should be converted, and their sins should be forgiven them. 13 And he said unto them, Know you not this parable? And how then will you know all parables? 14 The sower sows the word. 15 And these are they by the wayside, where the word is sown, but when they have heard, Satan comes immediately, and takes away the word that was sown in their hearts. 16 And these are they likewise who are sown on stony ground, who, when they have heard the word, immediately receive it with gladness, 17 And have no root in themselves, and so endure but for a time, afterward, when affliction or persecution arises for the word sake, immediately they are offended. 18 And these are they who are sown among thorns, such as hear the word, 19 And the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the lusts of other things entering in, choke the word, and it becomes unfruitful. 20 And these are they who are sown on good ground, such as hear the word, and receive it, and bring forth fruit, some thirtyfold, some sixty, and some a hundred. Parable of the Candle 21 And he said unto them, Is a lamp brought to be put under a bushel, or under a bed? And not to be set on a lampstand? 22 For there is nothing hid, which shall not be manifested, neither was anything kept secret, but that it should come into the open. 23 If any man has ears to hear, let him hear. 24 And he said unto them, Take heed what you hear, with what measure you measure, it shall be measured to you, and unto you that hear shall more be given. 25 For he that has, to him shall be given, and he that has not, from him shall be taken even that which he has. Parable of the Growing Seed 26 And he said, So is the kingdom of God, as if a man should cast seed into the ground, 27 And should sleep, and rise night and day, and the seed should spring and grow up, he knows not how. 28 For the earth brings forth fruit of itself, first the blade, then the ear, after that the full grain in the ear. 29 But when the fruit is brought forth, immediately he puts in the sickle, because the harvest is come. Parable of the Mustard Seed 30 And he said, With what shall we liken the kingdom of God? Or with what comparison shall we compare it? 31 It is like a grain of mustard seed, which, when it is sown in the earth, is less than all the seeds that be in the earth. 32 But when it is sown, it grows up, and becomes greater than all plants, and shoots out great branches, so that the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadow of it. 33 And with many such parables he spoke the word unto them, as they were able to hear it. 34 But without a parable he spoke not unto them and when they were alone, he expounded all things to his disciples. The sea is calmed. 35 And the same day, when the evening was come, he said unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. 36 And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him just as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. 37 And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. 
38 And he was in the rear of the ship, asleep on a pillow, and they awoke him, and said unto him, Teacher, care you not that we perish? 39 And he arose, and rebuked the wind, and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. 40 And he said unto them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? 41 And they feared exceedingly, and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Chapter 5 Devils are cast into the swine. 1 And they came over unto the other side of the sea, into the country of the Gadarenes. 2 And when he came out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit, 3 Who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains, 4 Because he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been wrenched apart by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man subdue him. 5 And always, night and day, he was in the mountains, and in the tombs, crying, and cutting himself with stones. 6 But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him, 7 And cried with a loud voice, and said, What have I to do with you, Jesus, you Son of the Most High God? I adjure you by God, that you torment me not. 8 For he had said unto him, Come out of the man, you unclean spirit. 9 And he asked him, What is your name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. 10 And he begged him much that he would not send them away out of the country. 11 Now there was there near unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding. 12 And all the demons begged him, saying, Send us into the swine, that we may enter into them. 13 And Jesus gave them leave. And the unclean spirits went out, and entered into the swine, and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea, there were about two thousand, and were drowned in the sea. 14 And they that fed the swine fled, and told it in the city, and in the country. And they went out to see what it was that was done. 15 And they came to Jesus, and saw him that was possessed with the demon, and had the legion, sitting, and clothed, and in his right mind, and they were afraid. 16 And they that saw it told them what had happened to him that was possessed with the demon, and also concerning the swine. 17 And they began to ask him to depart out of their region. 18 And when he was come into the ship, he that had been possessed with the demon asked him that he might be with him. 19 But Jesus permitted him not, but said unto him, Go home to your friends, and tell them what great things the Lord has done for you, and has had compassion on you. 20 And he departed, and began to announce in Decapolis what great things Jesus had done for him, and all men did marvel. Jairus pleads Christ for his daughter. 21 And when Jesus was passed over again by ship unto the other side, many people gathered unto him, and he was near unto the sea. 22 And, behold, there came one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name, and when he saw him, he fell at his feet, 23 And besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lies at the point of death, I pray you, come and lay your hands on her, that she may be healed, and she shall live. 24 And Jesus went with him, and many people followed him, and thronged him. A woman is healed. 25 And a certain woman, who had an issue of blood twelve years, 26 And had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was no better, but rather grew worse, 27 When she had heard of Jesus, came in the crowd behind, and touched his garment. 28 For she said, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. 29 And immediately the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that disease. 30 And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that power had gone out of him, turned about in the crowd, and said, Who touched my clothes? 31 And his disciples said unto him, You see the multitude thronging you, and you say, Who touched me? 32 And he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. 33 But the woman fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him, and told him all the truth. 34 And he said unto her, Daughter, your faith has made you whole, go in peace, and be whole of your disease.
Jairus' daughter is healed. 35 While he yet spoke, there came from the ruler of the synagogue's house certain who said, Your daughter is dead, why trouble you the teacher any further? 36 As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. 37 And he permitted no man to follow him, except Peter, and James, and John the brother of James. 38 And he came to the house of the ruler of the synagogue, and saw the tumult, and them that wept and wailed greatly. 39 And when he came in, he said unto them, Why make you this commotion, and weep? The child is not dead, but sleeps. 40 And they laughed him to scorn. But when he had put them all out, he took the father and the mother of the child, and them that were with him, and entered in where the child was lying. 41 And he took the child by the hand, and said unto her, Talitha kumi, which is, being interpreted, little girl, I say unto you, arise. 42 And immediately the girl arose, and walked, for she was of the age of twelve years. And they were astonished with a great astonishment. 43 And he charged them sternly that no man should know it, and told them that something should be given her to eat. Chapter 6 Jesus is rejected in Nazareth. 1 And he went out from there, and came into his own country, and his disciples followed him. 2 And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many hearing him were astonished, saying, From where has this man these things? And what wisdom is this which is given unto him, that even such mighty works are wrought by his hands? 3. Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James, and Hoses, and of Judas, and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. 4. But Jesus said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, but in his own country, and among his own kin, and in his own house. 5 And he could there do no mighty work, except that he laid his hands upon a few sick folk, and healed them. 6 And he marveled because of their unbelief. And he went round about the villages, teaching. The twelve are sent to serve. 7 And he called unto him the twelve, and began to send them forth two by two, and gave them power over unclean spirits, ate and commanded them that they should take nothing for their journey, except a staff only, no bag, no bread, no money in their purse, nine but to wear sandals, and not put on two coats. Ten and he said unto them, In whatever place you enter into a house, there abide till you depart from that place. Eleven and whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear you, when you depart from there, shake off the dust under your feet for a testimony against them. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment, than for that city. Twelve and they went out, and preached that men should repent. Thirteen and they cast out many demons, and anointed with oil many that were sick, and healed them. The murder of John the Baptist. Fourteen and King Herod heard of him, for his name was spread abroad, and he said, that John the Baptist was risen from the dead, and therefore mighty works do show forth themselves in him. Fifteen others said, It is Elijah. And others said, It is a prophet, or is one of the prophets. Sixteen But when Herod heard of it, he said, It is John, whom I beheaded, he is risen from the dead. Seventeen For Herod himself had sent forth and laid hold upon John, and bound him in prison for Herodias' sake, his brother Philip's wife, for he had married her. Eighteen For John had said unto Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Nineteen Therefore Herodias had a quarrel against him, and would have killed him, but she could not. Twenty For Herod feared John, knowing that he was a just man and holy, and protected him, and when he heard him, he did many things, and heard him gladly. 21 And when an opportune day was come, Herod on his birthday made a supper for his lords, high captains, and chief men of Galilee. 22 And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in, and danced, and pleased Herod and them that sat with him, the king said unto the girl, Ask of me whatsoever you will, and I will give it to you. 23 And he swore unto her, Whatsoever you shall ask of me, I will give it to you, unto the half of my kingdom. 24 And she went forth, and said unto her mother, What shall I ask? 
And she said, The head of John the Baptist. 25 And she came in immediately with haste unto the king, and asked, saying, I will that you give me at once on a platter the head of John the Baptist. 26 And the king was exceedingly sorry, yet for his oath's sake, and for their sakes who sat with him, he would not reject her. 27 And immediately the king sent an executioner, and commanded his head to be brought, and he went and beheaded him in the prison, 28 And brought his head on a platter, and gave it to the girl, and the girl gave it to her mother. 29 And when his disciples heard of it, they came and took up his corpse, and laid it in a tomb. The Twelve Return 30 And the apostles gathered themselves together unto Jesus, and told him all things, both what they had done, and what they had taught. 31 And he said unto them, Come you yourselves apart into a desert place, and rest a while, for there were many coming and going, and they had no leisure so much as to eat. Jesus feeds five thousand. 32 And they departed into a desert place by ship privately. 33 And the people saw them departing, and many knew him, and ran on foot out of all the cities, and came before them, and came together unto him. 34 And Jesus, when he came out, saw many people, and was moved with compassion toward them, because they were as sheep not having a shepherd, and he began to teach them many things. 35 And when the day was now ending, his disciples came unto him, and said, This is a desert place, and now the time is far past. 36 Send them away, that they may go into the country round about, and into the villages, and buy themselves bread, for they have nothing to eat. 37 He answered and said unto them, Give you them to eat. And they say unto him, Shall we go and buy two hundred pennyworth of bread, and give them to eat? 38 He said unto them, How many loaves have you? Go and see. And when they knew, they said, Five, and two fishes. 39 And he commanded them to make all sit down by groups upon the green grass. 40 And they sat down in ranks, by hundreds, and by fifties. 41 And when he had taken the five loaves and the two fishes, he looked up to heaven, and blessed, and broke the loaves, and gave them to his disciples to set before them, and the two fishes divided he among them all. 42 And they did all eat, and were filled. 43 And they took up twelve baskets full of the fragments, and of the fishes. 44 And they that did eat of the loaves were about five thousand men. Jesus walks on water. 45 And immediately he made his disciples to get into the ship, and to go to the other side before unto Bethsaida, while he sent away the people. 46 And when he had sent them away, he departed into a mountain to pray. 47 And when evening was come, the ship was in the midst of the sea, and he was alone on the land. 48 And he saw them toiling and rowing, for the wind was contrary unto them, and about the fourth watch of the night he came unto them, walking upon the sea, and would have passed by them. 49 But when they saw him walking upon the sea, they supposed it was a spirit, and cried out, 50 For they all saw him, and were troubled. And immediately he talked with them, and said unto them, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. 51 And he went up unto them into the ship, and the wind ceased, and they were much amazed in themselves beyond measure, and wondered. 52 For they understood not the miracle of the loaves, for their hearts were hardened. Jesus heals at Genseray. 53 And when they had passed over, they came into the land of Genseray, and drew to the shore. 54 And when they were come out of the ship, immediately they knew him, 55 And ran through that whole region round about, and began to carry about in beds those that were sick, where they heard he was. 56 And wherever he entered, into villages, or cities, or country, they laid the sick in the streets, and besought him that they might touch if it were but the border of his garment, and as many as touched him were made whole. Chapter 7 The Pharisees in Defilement one then came together unto him the Pharisees, and certain of the scribes, who came from Jerusalem. Two and when they saw some of his disciples eat bread with defiled, that is to say, with unwashed, hands, they found fault. Three for the Pharisees, and all the Jews, except they wash their hands often, eat not, holding the tradition of the elders. 
for and when they come from the market, except they wash, they eat not. And many other things there be, which they have received to hold, as the washing of cups, and pots, bronze vessels, and of tables. 5 Then the Pharisees and scribes asked him, Why walk not your disciples according to the tradition of the elders, but eat bread with unwashed hands? 6 He answered and said unto them, Well has Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. 7 But in vain did they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. 8 For laying aside the commandment of God, you hold the tradition of men, as the washing of pots and cups, and many other such things you do. 9 And he said unto them, Full well you reject the commandment of God, that you may keep your own tradition. 10 For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother, and, whoever curses father or mother, let him die the death. 11 But you say, If a man shall say to his father or mother, It is Corban, that is to say, a gift devoted to God, whatsoever you might have received from me, he shall be free. 12 And you allow him no more to do anything for his father or his mother, 13 Making the word of God of no effect through your tradition, which you have delivered, and many such things do you. 14 And when he had called all the people unto him, he said unto them, Hearken unto me every one of you, and understand, 15 There is nothing from outside a man, that entering into him can defile him, but the things which come out of him, those are they that defile the man. 16 If any man has ears to hear, let him hear. 17 And when he was entered into the house from the people, his disciples asked him concerning the parable. 18 And he said unto them, Are you so without understanding also? Do you not perceive, that whatsoever thing from outside enters into the man, it cannot defile him, 19 Because it enters not into his heart, but into the belly, and goes out into the drain, purging all foods. 20 And he said, That which came out of the man, that defiles the man. 21 For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, 22 thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, licentiousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness, 23 All these evil things come from within, and defile the man. The Syrophoenician's daughter is healed. 24 And from there he arose, and went into the borders of Tyre and Sidon, and entered into a house, and would have no man know it, but he could not be hid. 25 For a certain woman, whose young daughter had an unclean spirit, heard of him, and came and fell at his feet. 26 The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by race, and she besought him that he would cast forth the demon out of her daughter. 27 But Jesus said unto her, Let the children first be filled, for it is not right to take the children's bread, and to cast it unto the dogs. 28 And she answered and said unto him, Yes, Lord, yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs. 29 And he said unto her, For this saying go your way, the demon is gone out of your daughter. 30 And when she was come to her house, she found the demon gone out, and her daughter laid upon the bed. Deaf and dumb man is healed. 31 And again, departing from the borders of Tyre and Sidon, he came unto the Sea of Galilee, through the midst of the region of Decapolis. 32 And they brought unto him one that was deaf, and had an impediment in his speech, and they besought him to put his hand upon him. 33 And he took him aside from the multitude, and put his fingers into his ears, and he spit, and touched his tongue. 34 And looking up to heaven, he sighed, and said unto him, Ephphatha, that is, be opened. 35 And immediately his ears were opened, and the string of his tongue was loosed, and he spoke plainly. 36 And he charged them that they should tell no man, but the more he charged them, so much the more zealously they proclaimed it. 37 And were beyond measure astonished, saying, He has done all things well, he makes both the deaf to hear, and the dumb to speak. Chapter 8 Jesus feeds 4,000. 1 In those days the multitude being very great, and having nothing to eat, Jesus called his disciples unto him, and said unto them, Do I have compassion on the multitude, because they have now been with me three days, and have nothing to eat. 
3 And if I send them away fasting to their own houses, they will faint by the way, for some of them came from far. 4 And his disciples answered him, From where can a man satisfy these men with bread here in the desert? 5 And he asked them, How many loaves have you? And they said, Seven. Six and he commanded the people to sit down on the ground, and he took the seven loaves, and gave thanks, and broke them, and gave them to his disciples to set before them, and they did set them before the people. Seven and they had a few small fishes, and he blessed, and commanded to set them also before them. Eight so they did eat, and were filled, and they took up of the broken fragments that were left seven baskets. Nine and they that had eaten were about four thousand, and he sent them away. Pharisees seek a sign. 10 And immediately he entered into a ship with his disciples, and came into the parts of Dalmanutha. 11 And the Pharisees came forth, and began to question him, seeking of him a sign from heaven, testing him. 12 And he sighed deeply in his spirit, and said, Why does this generation seek after a sign? Verily I say unto you, There shall no sign be given unto this generation. 13 And he left them, and entering into the ship again departed to the other side. The disciples do not understand. 14 Now the disciples had forgotten to take bread, neither had they in the ship with them more than one loaf. 15 And he charged them, saying, Take heed, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, and of the leaven of Herod. 16 And they reasoned among themselves, saying, It is because we have no bread. 17 And when Jesus knew it, he said unto them, Why reason you, because you have no bread? Perceive you not yet, neither understand. Have you your heart yet hardened? 18 Having eyes, see you not. And having ears, hear you not. And do you not remember? 19 When I broke the five loaves among five thousand, how many baskets full of fragments took you up? They said unto him, Twelve. 20 And when the seven among four thousand, how many baskets full of fragments took you up? And they said, Seven. 21 And he said unto them, How is it that you do not understand? A blind man is healed. 22 And he came to Bethsaida, and they brought a blind man unto him, and besought him to touch him. 23 And he took the blind man by the hand, and led him out of the town, and when he had spit on his eyes, and put his hands upon him, he asked him if he saw anything. 24 And he looked up, and said, I see men as trees, walking. 25 After that he put his hands again upon his eyes, and made him look up, and he was restored, and saw every man clearly. 26 And he sent him away to his house, saying, Neither go into the town, nor tell it to any in the town. Peter's Confession of Christ. 27 And Jesus went out, and his disciples, into the towns of Caesarea Philippi, and on the way he asked his disciples, saying unto them, Who do men say that I am? 28 And they answered, John the Baptist, but some say, Elijah, and others, one of the prophets. 29 And he said unto them, But who say you that I am? And Peter answered and said unto him, You are the Christ. 30 And he charged them that they should tell no man of him. 31 And he began to teach them, that the Son of Man must suffer many things, and be rejected of the elders, and of the chief priests, and scribes, and be killed, and after three days rise again. 32 And he spoke that saying openly. And Peter took him, and began to rebuke him. 33 But when he had turned about and looked on his disciples, he rebuked Peter, saying, Get you behind me, Satan, for you consider not the things that be of God, but the things that be of men. Cost of Discipleship 34 And when he had called the people unto him with his disciples also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross, and follow me. 35 For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake in the Gospels, the same shall save it. 36 For what shall it profit a man, if he shall gain the whole world, and lose his own life? 37 Or what shall a man give in exchange for his life?
38 Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed, when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Chapter 9. The Transfiguration. 1 And he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that there be some of those that stand here, who shall not taste of death, till they have seen the kingdom of God come with power. 2 And after six days Jesus took with him Peter, and James, and John, and led them up into a high mountain apart by themselves, and he was transfigured before them. 3 And his clothing became shining, exceeding white as snow, so as no fuller on earth can whiten them. 4 And there appeared unto them Elijah with Moses, and they were talking with Jesus. 5 And Peter answered and said to Jesus, Teacher, it is good for us to be here, and let us make three tabernacles, one for you, and one for Moses, and one for Elijah. 6 For he knew not what to say, for they were much afraid. 7 And there was a cloud that overshadowed them, and a voice came out of the cloud, saying, This is my beloved Son, hear him. 8 And suddenly, when they had looked round about, they saw no man any more, except Jesus only with themselves. 9 And as they came down from the mountain, he charged them that they should tell no man what things they had seen, till the Son of Man was risen from the dead. 10 And they kept that saying with themselves, questioning one with another what the rising from the dead should mean. 11 And they asked him, saying, Why say the scribes that Elijah must first come? 12 And he answered and told them, Elijah truly comes first, and restores all things, and how it is written of the Son of Man, that he must suffer many things, and be treated with contempt. 13 But I say unto you, that Elijah has indeed come, and they have done unto him whatsoever they desired, as it is written of him. Demon-possessed son is delivered. 14 And when he came to his disciples, he saw a great multitude about them, and the scribes questioning with them. 15 And immediately all the people, when they beheld him, were greatly amazed, and running to him greeted him. 16 And he asked the scribes, What do you debate with them? 17 And one of the multitude answered and said, Teacher, I have brought unto you my son, who has a dumb spirit, 18 And wherever he takes him, he throws him down, and he foams, and gnashes with his teeth, and wastes away, and I spoke to your disciples that they should cast him out, and they could not. 19 He answered him, and said, O faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him unto me. 20 And they brought him unto him, and when he saw him, immediately the spirit convulsed him, and he fell on the ground, and wallowed foaming. 21 And he asked his father, How long ago is it since this came unto him? And he said, Since childhood. 22 And often it has cast him into the fire, and into the waters, to destroy him, but if you can do anything, have compassion on us, and help us. 23 Jesus said unto him, If you can believe, all things are possible to him that believes. 24 And immediately the father of the child cried out, and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. 25 When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, You dumb and deaf spirit, I charge you, come out of him, and enter no more into him. 26 And the spirit cried, and convulsed him terribly, and came out of him, and he was as one dead, so that many said, He is dead. 27 But Jesus took him by the hand, and lifted him up, and he arose. 28 And when he was come into the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could not we cast him out? 29 And he said unto them, This kind can come forth by nothing, but by prayer and fasting. Jesus foretells his death. 30 And they departed from there, and passed through Galilee, and he desired not that any man should know it. 31 For he taught his disciples, and said unto them, The Son of Man is delivered into the hands of men, and they shall kill him, and after that he is killed, he shall rise the third day. 32 But they understood not that saying, and were afraid to ask him. Attitude of Servanthood 33 And he came to Capernaum, and being in the house he asked them, What was it that you disputed among yourselves on the way? 
34 But they held their peace, for on the way they had disputed among themselves, who should be the greatest. 35 And he sat down, and called the twelve, and said unto them, If any man desire to be first, the same shall be last of all, and servant of all. 36 And he took a child, and set him in the midst of them, and when he had taken him in his arms, he said unto them, 37 Whosoever shall receive one of such children in my name, receives me, and whosoever shall receive me, receives not me, but him that sent me. 38 And John answered him, saying, Teacher, we saw one casting out demons in your name, and he followed not us, and we forbade him, because he followed not us. 39 But Jesus said, Forbid him not, for there is no man who shall do a miracle in my name, that can soon after speak evil of me. 40 For he that is not against us is for us. 41 For whosoever shall give you a cup of water to drink in my name, because you belong to Christ, verily I say unto you, he shall not lose his reward. Warning about hell. 42 And whosoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me, it is better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and he were cast into the sea. 43 And if your hand offend you, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life maimed, than having two hands to go into hell, into the fire that never shall be quenched. 44 Where the worm dies not, and the fire is not quenched. 45 And if your foot offends you, cut it off. It is better for you to enter lame into life, than having two feet to be cast into hell, into the fire that never shall be quenched. 46 Where the worm dies not, and the fire is not quenched. 47 And if your eye offend you, pluck it out. It is better for you to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye, than having two eyes to be cast into hell fire. 48 Where the worm dies not, and the fire is not quenched. 49 For every one shall be salted with fire, and every sacrifice shall be salted with salt. 50 Salt is good, but if the salt has lost its saltiness, how will you season it? Have salt in yourselves, and have peace one with another. Chapter 10. Marriage and Divorce. 1 And he arose from there, and came into the regions of Judea beyond the Jordan, and the people came unto him again, and, as his custom was, he taught them again. 2 And the Pharisees came to him, and asked him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife? Testing him. 3 And he answered and said unto them, What did Moses command you? For and they said, Moses allowed a man to write a bill of divorcement, and to put her away. 5 And Jesus answered and said unto them, For the hardness of your heart he wrote you this precept. 6 But from the beginning of the creation God made them male and female. 7 For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and be joined to his wife. 8 And they two shall be one flesh, so then they are no more two, but one flesh. 9 What therefore God has joined together, let not man put asunder. 10 And in the house his disciples asked him again of the same matter. 11 And he said unto them, Whosoever shall put away his wife, and marry another, commits adultery against her. 12 And if a woman shall put away her husband, and be married to another, she commits adultery. Children and the Kingdom 13 And they brought young children to him, that he should touch them, and his disciples rebuked those that brought them. 14 But when Jesus saw it, he was much displeased, and said unto them, Allow the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. 15 Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter therein. 16 And he took them up in his arms, put his hands upon them, and blessed them. The rich young ruler. 17 And when he was gone forth into the way, there came one running, and kneeled to him, and asked him, Good teacher, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? 18 And Jesus said unto him, Why call me good? There is none good but one, that is, God. 19 You know the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, defraud not, honor your father and mother. 20 And he answered and said unto him, Teacher, all these have I observed from my youth. 21 Then Jesus beholding him loved him, and said unto him, One thing you lack, 
go your way, sell whatsoever you have, and give to the poor, and you shall have treasure in heaven, and come, take up the cross, and follow me. 22 And he was sad at that saying, and went away grieved, for he had great possessions. Difficulty of Riches 23 And Jesus looked round about, and said unto his disciples, How hard for those that have riches to enter into the kingdom of God. 24 And the disciples were astonished at his words. But Jesus answered again, and said unto them, Children, how hard is it for them that trust in riches to enter into the kingdom of God. 25 It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle, than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. 26 And they were astonished beyond measure, saying among themselves, Who then can be saved? 27 And Jesus looking upon them said, With men it is impossible, but not with God, for with God all things are possible. Eternal Reward 28 Then Peter began to say unto him, Lo, we have left all, and have followed you. 29 And Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, There is no man that has left house, or brothers, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my sake, and the gospels, 30 But he shall receive a hundredfold now in this time, houses, and brothers, and sisters, and mothers, and children, and lands, with persecutions, and in the world to come eternal life. 31 But many that are first shall be last, and the last first. The Coming Crucifixion 32 And they were on the way going up to Jerusalem, and Jesus went before them, and they were amazed, and as they followed, they were afraid. And he took again the twelve, and began to tell them what things should happen unto him, 33 saying, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man shall be delivered unto the chief priests, and unto the scribes, and they shall condemn him to death, and shall deliver him to the Gentiles, 34 And they shall mock him, and shall scourge him, and shall spit upon him, and shall kill him, and the third day he shall rise again. Whosoever will be great. 35 And James and John, the sons of Zebedee, come unto him, saying, Teacher, we would that you should do for us whatsoever we shall desire. 36 And he said unto them, What would you that I should do for you? 37 They said unto him, Grant unto us that we may sit, one on your right hand, and the other on your left hand, in your glory. 38 But Jesus said unto them, You know not what you ask, can you drink of the cup that I drink of? And be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. 39 And they said unto him, We can. And Jesus said unto them, You shall indeed drink of the cup that I drink of, and with the baptism that I am baptized shall you be baptized. Forty but to sit on my right hand and on my left hand is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared. Forty-one And when the ten heard it, they began to be much displeased with James and John. Forty-two But Jesus called them to him, and said unto them, You know that they who are accounted to rule over the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and their leaders exercise authority over them. Forty-three But so shall it not be among you, but whosoever would be great among you, shall be your servant. Forty-four And whosoever of you will be the first, shall be servant of all. Forty-five For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister, and to give his life a ransom for many. Blind Bartimaeus is healed. Forty-six And they came to Jericho, and as he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside begging. Forty-seven And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out, and say, Jesus, you son of David, have mercy on me. 48 And many charged him that he should hold his peace, but he cried the more a great deal, you son of David, have mercy on me. 49 And Jesus stood still, and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort, rise, he calls you. 50 And he, casting away his garment, rose, and came to Jesus. 51 And Jesus answered and said unto him, What will you that I should do unto you? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. 52 And Jesus said unto him, 
Go your way, your faith has made you whole. And immediately he received his sight, and followed Jesus in the way. Chapter 11 The Triumphal Entry 1 And when they came near to Jerusalem, unto Bethphage and Bethany, at the Mount of Olives, he sent forth two of his disciples, two and said unto them, Go your way into the village opposite you, and as soon as you are entered into it, you shall find a colt tied, on which never man sat, loose him, and bring him. 3 And if any man say unto you, Why do you this? Say that the Lord has need of him, and immediately he will send him here. For and they went their way, and found the colt tied by the door outside in a place where two ways met, and they loosed him. Five and certain of them that stood there said unto them, What are you doing, loosing the colt? Six and they said unto them even as Jesus had commanded, and they let them go. Seven and they brought the colt to Jesus, and cast their garments on him, and he sat upon him. Eight and many spread their garments in the way, and others cut down branches off the trees, and spread them in the way. Nine and they that went before, and they that followed, cried, saying, Hosanna, blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord, ten blessed be the kingdom of our father David, that came in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Eleven and Jesus entered into Jerusalem, and into the temple, and when he had looked around upon all things, and now the evening was come, he went out unto Bethany with the twelve. Cursing of the Fig Tree Twelve and on the next day, when they had come from Bethany, he was hungry, thirteen and seeing a fig tree afar off having leaves, he came, if perhaps he might find anything thereon, and when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for the time of figs was not yet. Fourteen and Jesus answered and said unto it, No man eat fruit of you hereafter forever. And his disciples heard it. Cleansing of the Temple 15 And they come to Jerusalem, and Jesus went into the temple, and began to cast out them that sold and bought in the temple, and overthrew the tables of the money changers, and the seats of them that sold doves, 16 And would not allow that any man should carry any vessel through the temple. 17 And he taught, saying unto them, Is it not written, My house shall be called of all nations the house of prayer? But you have made it a den of thieves. 18 And the scribes and chief priests heard it, and sought how they might destroy him, for they feared him, because all the people were astonished at his doctrine. 19 And when evening was come, he went out of the city. Power of Faith 20 And in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. 21 And Peter calling to remembrance said unto him, Teacher, behold, the fig tree which you cursed is withered away. 22 And Jesus answering said unto them, Have faith in God. 23 For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be removed, and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he said. 24 Therefore I say unto you, whatever things you desire, when you pray, believe that you will receive them, and you shall have them. Necessity of Forgiveness 25 And when you stand praying, forgive, if you have anything against any, that your Father also who is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. 26 But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father who is in heaven forgive your trespasses. The Question of Authority 27 And they came again to Jerusalem, and as he was walking in the temple, there came to him the chief priests, and the scribes, and the elders, twenty-eight and said unto him, By what authority do you these things? And who gave you this authority to do these things? Twenty-nine and Jesus answered and said unto them, I will also ask of you one question, and answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Thirty the baptism of John, was it from heaven, or of men? Answer me. 31 And they reasoned among themselves, saying, If we shall say, From heaven, he will say, Why then did you not believe him? 32 But if we shall say, Of men, they feared the people, for all men counted John, that he was a prophet indeed. 33 And they answered and said unto Jesus, We cannot tell. And Jesus answering said unto them, Neither do I tell you by what authority I do these things. Chapter 12 
parable of the Lord of the vineyard. 1 And he began to speak unto them by parables. A certain man planted a vineyard, and set a hedge about it, and dug a place for the winepress, and built a tower, and let it out to tenants, and went into a far country. 2 And at the season time he sent to the tenants a servant, that he might receive from the tenants of the fruit of the vineyard. 3 And they caught him, and beat him, and sent him away empty-handed. 4 And again he sent unto them another servant, and at him they cast stones, and wounded him in the head, and sent him away shamefully handled. 5 And again he sent another, and him they killed, and many others, beating some, and killing some. 6 Having yet therefore one son, his well-beloved, he sent him also last unto them, saying, They will respect my son. 7 But those tenants said among themselves, This is the heir, come, let us kill him, and the inheritance shall be ours. 8 And they took him, and killed him, and cast him out of the vineyard. 9 What shall therefore the Lord of the vineyard do? He will come and destroy the tenants, and will give the vineyard unto others. 10 And have you not read this scripture, the stone which the builders rejected has become the head of the corner, 11 This was the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. 12 And they sought to lay hold on him, but feared the people, for they knew that he had spoken the parable against them, and they left him, and went their way. Tribute money. 13 And they sent unto him certain of the Pharisees and of the Herodians, to catch him in his words. 14 And when they were come, they said unto him, Teacher, we know that you are true, and care for no man, for you regard not the person of men, but teach the way of God and truth, is it lawful to give tribute to Caesar, or not? 15 Shall we give, or shall we not give? But he, knowing their hypocrisy, said unto them, Why tempt you me? Bring me a penny, that I may see it. 16 And they brought it. And he said unto them, Whose is this image and superscription? And they said unto him, Caesar's. 17 And Jesus answering said unto them, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. And they marveled at him. The Resurrection. 18 Then came unto him the Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, and they asked him, saying, 19 Teacher, Moses wrote unto us, If a man's brother dies, and leaves his wife behind him, and leaves no children, that his brother should take his wife, and raise up children unto his brother. Twenty now there were seven brothers, and the first took a wife, and dying left no children. Twenty one and the second took her, and died, neither left he any children, and the third likewise. Twenty two and the seven had her, and left no children, last of all the woman died also. 23 In the resurrection therefore, when they shall rise, whose wife shall she be of them? For the seven had her as wife. 24 And Jesus answering said unto them, Do you not therefore err, because you know not the scriptures, neither the power of God? 25 For when they shall rise from the dead, they neither marry, nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels who are in heaven. 26 And concerning the dead, that they rise, have you not read in the book of Moses, how in the bush God spoke unto him, saying, I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob? 27 He is not the God of the dead, but the God of the living, you therefore do greatly err. The Greatest Commandment 28 And one of the scribes came, and having heard them reasoning together, and perceiving that he had answered them well, asked him, Which is the first commandment of all? 29 And Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. 30 And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. 31 And the second is like, namely this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. 32 And the scribe said unto him, Well, teacher, you have said the truth, for there is one God, and there is none other but he. 33 And to love him with all the heart, and with all the understanding, and with all the soul, and with all the strength, and to love his neighbor as himself, is more than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices.
34 And when Jesus saw that he answered wisely, he said unto him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no man after that dared ask him any question. Jesus questions the leaders. 35 And Jesus answered and said, While he taught in the temple, how say the scribes that Christ is the son of David? 36 For David himself said by the Holy Spirit, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit on my right hand, till I make your enemies your footstool. 37 David therefore himself calls him Lord, and how is he then his son? And the common people heard him gladly. Jesus condemns the leaders. 38 And he said unto them in his doctrine, Beware of the scribes, who love to go in long clothing, and love salutations in the marketplaces, 39 And the chief seats in the synagogues, and the uppermost places at feasts, 40 Who devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayers, these shall receive greater condemnation. 41 And Jesus sat opposite the treasury, and beheld how the people cast money into the treasury, and many that were rich cast in much. 42 And there came a certain poor widow, and she threw in two mites, which make a farthing. 43 And he called unto him his disciples, and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that this poor widow has cast more in, than all they who have cast into the treasury. 44 For all they did cast in of their abundance, but she of her poverty did cast in all that she had, even all her living. Chapter 13 Questions from the Disciples 1 And as he went out of the temple, one of his disciples said unto him, Teacher, see what manner of stones and what buildings are here. 2 And Jesus answering said unto him, See these great buildings. There shall not be left one stone upon another, that shall not be thrown down. 3 And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives opposite the temple, Peter and James and John and Andrew asked him privately, Foretell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign when all these things shall be fulfilled? The Tribulation 5 And Jesus answering them began to say, Take heed lest any man deceive you. 6 For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. 7 And when you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be not troubled, for such things must needs be, but the end shall not be yet. 8 For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be earthquakes in various places, and there shall be famines and troubles, these are the beginnings of sorrows. 9 But take heed to yourselves, for they shall deliver you up to councils, and in the synagogues you shall be beaten, and you shall be brought before rulers and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them. 10 And the gospel must first be preached among all nations. 11 But when they shall lead you, and deliver you up, take no thought beforehand what you shall speak, neither do you premeditate, but whatsoever shall be given you in that hour, that speak you, for it is not you that speak, but the Holy Spirit. 12 Now the brother shall betray the brother to death, and the father the son, and children shall rise up against their parents, and shall cause them to be put to death. 13 And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. 14 But when you shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing where it ought not, let him that reads understand, then let them that be in Judea flee to the mountains. 15 And let him that is on the housetop not go down into the house, neither enter therein, to take anything out of his house. 16 And let him that is in the field not turn back again to take up his garment. 17 But woe to them that are with child, and to them that nurse children in those days. 18 And pray you that your flight be not in the winter. 19 For in those days shall be affliction, such as was not from the beginning of the creation which God created unto this time, neither shall be. 20 And except the Lord had shortened those days, no flesh would be saved, but for the elect sake, whom he has chosen, he has shortened the days. 21 And then if any man shall say to you, Lo, here is Christ, or, Lo, he is there, believe him not. 22 For false Christs and false prophets shall rise, and shall show signs and wonders, to seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. 23 But take heed, behold, I have foretold you all things. The Second Coming 
24 But in those days, after that tribulation, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, 25 And the stars of heaven shall fall, and the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken. 26 And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. 27 And then shall he send his angels, and shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from the uttermost part of the earth to the uttermost part of heaven. Parable of the Fig Tree 28 Now learn a parable of the fig tree, when its branch is yet tender, and puts forth leaves, you know that summer is near. 29 So you in like manner, when you shall see these things come to pass, know that it is near, even at the doors. 30 Verily I say unto you, that this generation shall not pass away, till all these things be done. 31 Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Exhortation to be alert. 32 But of that day and that hour knows no man, no, not the angels who are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. 33 Take you heed, watch and pray, for you know not when the time is. 34 For the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey, who left his house, and gave authority to his servants, and to every man his work, and commanded the doorkeeper to watch. 35 Watch you therefore, for you know not when the master of the house comes, at evening, or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning. 36 Lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. 37 And what I say unto you I say unto all, watch. Chapter 14 Leaders Seek to Kill Jesus One after two days was the feast of the Passover, and of unleavened bread, and the chief priests and the scribes sought how they might take him by craft, and put him to death. Two but they said, Not on the feast day, lest there be an uproar of the people. Three and being in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, as he sat at table, there came a woman having an alabaster flask of ointment of pure nard very precious, and she broke the flask, and poured it on his head. Four and there were some that had indignation within themselves, and said, Why was this waste of the ointment made? Five for it might have been sold for more than three hundred pence, and have been given to the poor. And they murmured against her. 6 And Jesus said, Let her alone, why trouble you her? She has wrought a good work for me. 7 For you have the poor with you always, and whenever you will you may do them good, but me you have not always. 8 She has done what she could, she has come beforehand to anoint my body for burying. 9 Verily I say unto you, wherever this gospel shall be preached throughout the whole world, this also that she has done shall be spoken of for a memorial of her. Judas plans to betray Jesus. 10 And Judas Iscariot, one of the twelve, went unto the chief priests, to betray him unto them. 11 And when they heard it, they were glad, and promised to give him money. And he sought how he might conveniently betray him. Passover is made ready. 12 And the first day of unleavened bread, when they killed the Passover, his disciples said unto him, Where will you that we go and prepare that you may eat the Passover? 13 And he sent forth two of his disciples, and said unto them, Go into the city, and there shall meet you a man bearing a pitcher of water, follow him. 14 And wherever he shall go in, say to the owner of the house, The master says, Where is the guest room, where I shall eat the Passover with my disciples? 15 And he will show you a large upper room furnished and prepared, there make ready for us. 16 And his disciples went forth, and came into the city, and found as he had said unto them, and they made ready the Passover. Passover is celebrated. 17 And in the evening he came with the twelve. 18 And as they sat and did eat, Jesus said, Verily I say unto you, one of you who eats with me shall betray me. 19 And they began to be sorrowful, and to say unto him one by one, Is it I? And another said, Is it I? 20 And he answered and said unto them, It is one of the twelve, that dips with me in the dish. 21 The Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. Good were it for that man if he had never been born. Instituting of the Lord's Supper. 22 And as they did eat, 
Jesus took bread, and blessed, and broke it, and gave to them, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. 23 And he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank of it. 24 And he said unto them, This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many. 25 Verily I say unto you, I will drink no more of the fruit of the vine, until that day that I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Jesus predicts the denial of Peter. 26 And when they had sung a hymn, they went out into the Mount of Olives. 27 And Jesus said unto them, All you shall be offended because of me this night, for it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep shall be scattered. 28 But after that I am risen, I will go before you into Galilee. 29 But Peter said unto him, Although all shall be offended, yet will not I thirty and Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto you, that this day, even in this night, before the cock crows twice, you shall deny me three times. 31 But he spoke the more vehemently, If I should die with you, I will not deny you by any means. Likewise also said they all. Jesus prays in Gethsemane. 32 And they came to a place which was named Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here, while I shall pray. 33 And he took with him Peter and James and John, and began to be greatly distressed, and to be very troubled. 34 And said unto them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful unto death, tarry you here, and watch. 35 And he went forward a little, and fell on the ground, and prayed that, if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. 36 And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible unto you, take away this cup from me, nevertheless not what I will, but what you will. 37 And he came, and found them sleeping, and said unto Peter, Simon, do you sleep? Could you not watch one hour? 38 Watch and pray, lest you enter into temptation. The spirit truly is ready, but the flesh is weak. 39 And again he went away, and prayed, and spoke the same words. 40 And when he returned, he found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy, neither knew they what to answer him. 41 And he came the third time, and said unto them, Sleep on now, and take your rest. It is enough, the hour is come. Behold, the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. 42 Rise up, let us go, lo, he that betrays me is at hand. Judas betrays Jesus. 43 And immediately, while he yet spoke, came Judas, one of the twelve, and with him a great multitude with swords and clubs, from the chief priests and the scribes and the elders. 44 And he that betrayed him had given them a sign, saying, Whomsoever I shall kiss, that same as he, take him, and led him away safely. 45 And as soon as he came, he went immediately to him, and said, Teacher, teacher, and kissed him. 46 And they laid their hands on him, and took him. 47 And one of them that stood by drew a sword, and struck a servant of the high priest, and cut off his ear. 48 And Jesus answered and said unto them, Are you come out, as against a thief, with swords and with clubs to take me? 49 I was daily with you in the temple teaching, and you took me not, but the scriptures must be fulfilled. 50 And they all forsook him, and fled. 51 And there followed him a certain young man, having a linen cloth cast about his naked body, and the young men laid hold on him. 52 And he left the linen cloth, and fled from them naked. The Sanhedrin tries Jesus. 53 And they led Jesus away to the high priest, and with him were assembled all the chief priests and the elders and the scribes. 54 And Peter followed him afar off, even into the courtyard of the high priest, and he sat with the servants, and warmed himself at the fire. 55 And the chief priests and all the council sought for witness against Jesus to put him to death, and found none. 56 For many bore false witness against him, but their witness agreed not together. 57 And there arose some, and bore false witness against him, saying, 58 We heard him say, I will destroy this temple that is made with hands, and within three days I will build another made without hands. 59 But neither did their witness agree together. 
60 And the high priest stood up in the midst, and asked Jesus, saying, Answer you nothing. What is it which these witness against you? 61 But he held his peace, and answered nothing. Again the high priest asked him, and said unto him, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed? 62 And Jesus said, I am, and you shall see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power, and coming in the clouds of heaven. 63 Then the high priest tore his clothes, and said, What need have we of any further witnesses? 64 You have heard the blasphemy, what think you? And they all condemned him to be guilty of death. 65 And some began to spit on him, and to cover his face, and to buffet him, and to say unto him, Prophesy, and the guards did strike him with the palms of their hands. Peter denies Jesus. 66 And as Peter was below in the courtyard, there came one of the maid servants of the high priest. 67 And when she saw Peter warming himself, she looked upon him, and said, And you also were with Jesus of Nazareth. 68 But he denied, saying, I know not, neither understand I what you say. And he went out into the porch, and the cock crowed. 69 And the maidservant saw him again, and began to say to them that stood by, This is one of them. 70 And he denied it again. And after a little, they that stood by said again to Peter, Surely you are one of them, for you are a Galilean, and your speech agrees with it. 71 But he began to curse and to swear, saying, I know not this man of whom you speak. 72 And the second time the cock crowed. And Peter called to mind the word that Jesus said unto him, Before the cock crows twice, you shall deny me three times. And when he thought on this, he wept. Chapter 15 Pilate tries Jesus. 1 And immediately in the morning the chief priests held a consultation with the elders and scribes and the whole council, and bound Jesus, and carried him away, and delivered him to Pilate. 2 And Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? And he answering said unto him, You say it. 3 And the chief priests accused him of many things, but he answered nothing. 4 And Pilate asked him again, saying, Answer you nothing. Behold how many things they witness against you. 5 But Jesus yet answered nothing, so that Pilate marveled. 6 Now at that feast he released unto them one prisoner, whomsoever they desired. 7 And there was one named Barabbas, who lay bound with them that had made insurrection with him, who had committed murder in the insurrection. 8 And the multitude crying aloud began to desire him to do as he had always done unto them. 9 But Pilate answered them, saying, Will you that I release unto you the king of the Jews? 10 For he knew that the chief priests had delivered him out of envy. 11 But the chief priests stirred up the people, that he should rather release Barabbas unto them. 12 And Pilate answered and said again unto them, What will you then that I shall do unto him whom you call the king of the Jews? 13 And they cried out again, Crucify him. 14 Then Pilate said unto them, Why, what evil has he done? And they cried out the more exceedingly, Crucify him. Jesus is beaten. 15 And so Pilate, willing to satisfy the people, released Barabbas unto them, and delivered Jesus, when he had scourged him, to be crucified. 16 And the soldiers led him away into the hall, called Praetorium, and they called together the whole band. 17 And they clothed him with purple, and plaited a crown of thorns, and put it about his head, 18 And began to salute him, Hail, King of the Jews. 19 And they struck him on the head with a reed, and did spit upon him, and bowing their knees worshipped him. 20 And when they had mocked him, they took off the purple from him, and put his own clothes on him, and led him out to crucify him. 21 And they compelled one Simon a Cyrenian, who passed by, coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to bear his cross. 22 And they brought him unto the place Golgotha, which is, being interpreted, the place of a skull. 23 And they gave him to drink wine mingled with myrrh, but he received it not. Jesus is crucified. 24 And when they had crucified him, they parted his garments, casting lots for them, what every man should take. 25 And it was the third hour, and they crucified him.
26 and the superscription of his accusation was written, the king of the Jews. 27 and with him they crucified two thieves, the one on his right hand, and the other on his left. 28 and the scripture was fulfilled, which said, and he was numbered with the transgressors. 29 and they that passed by derided him, wagging their heads, and saying, Ah, you that destroy the temple, and build it in three days, thirty save yourself, and come down from the cross. 31 likewise also the chief priests mocking said among themselves with the scribes, He saved others, himself he cannot save. 32 Let Christ the King of Israel descend now from the cross, that we may see and believe. And they that were crucified with him reviled him. 33 And when the sixth hour was come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. 34 And at the ninth hour Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. Which is, being interpreted, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? 35 And some of them that stood by, when they heard it, said, Behold, he calls Elijah. 36 And one ran and filled a sponge full of vinegar, and put it on a reed, and gave him to drink, saying, Let alone, let us see whether Elijah will come to take him down. 37 And Jesus cried with a loud voice, and gave up his spirit. 38 And the veil of the temple was torn in two from the top to the bottom. 39 And when the centurion, who stood facing him, saw that he so cried out, and gave up his spirit, he said, Truly this man was the Son of God. 40 There were also women looking on from afar, among whom was Mary Magdalene, and Mary the mother of James the Less and of Hoseas, and Salome, 41 Who also, when he was in Galilee, followed him, and ministered unto him, and many other women who came up with him unto Jerusalem. Jesus is buried. 42 And now when the evening was come, because it was the preparation, that is, the day before the Sabbath, 43 Joseph of Arimathea, an honorable counselor, who also waited for the kingdom of God, came, and went in boldly unto Pilate, and asked for the body of Jesus. 44 And Pilate marveled that he was already dead, and calling unto him the centurion, he asked him whether he had been for some time dead. 45 And when he knew it of the centurion, he gave the body to Joseph. 46 And he bought fine linen, and took him down, and wrapped him in the linen, and laid him in a sepulcher which was hewn out of a rock, and rolled a stone unto the door of the sepulcher. 47 And Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of Hoseas beheld where he was laid. Chapter 16 The Resurrection of Jesus 1 And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, and Mary the mother of James, and Salome, had bought sweet spices, that they might come and anoint him. 2 And very early in the morning the first day of the week, they came unto the sepulchre at the rising of the sun. 3 And they said among themselves, Who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the sepulchre? 4 And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, for it was very great. 5 And entering into the sepulchre, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a long white garment, and they were amazed. 6 And he said unto them, Be not amazed, you seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified, he is risen, he is not here, behold the place where they laid him. 7 But go your way, tell his disciples and Peter that he goes before you into Galilee, there shall you see him, as he said unto you. 8 And they went out quickly, and fled from the sepulchre, for they trembled and were amazed, neither said they anything to any man, for they were afraid. The Appearance of Jesus 9 Now when Jesus was risen early the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven demons. 10 And she went and told them that had been with him, as they mourned and wept. 11 And they, when they had heard that he was alive, and had been seen of her, believed not. 12 After that he appeared in another form unto two of them, as they walked, and went into the country. 13 And they went and told it unto the rest, neither believed they them. 14 Afterward he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at table, and rebuked them for their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they believed not them who had seen him after he was risen. 
15 And he said unto them, Go you into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. 16 He that believes and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believes not shall be condemned. 17 And these signs shall follow them that believe, in my name shall they cast out demons, they shall speak with new tongues, 18 They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them, they shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. The Ascension of Jesus 19 So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven, and sat on the right hand of God. 20 And they went forth, and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them, and confirming the word with signs following. Amen.